Hello and welcome, welcome Ozo Squad. I'm Chris, and today I will be guiding you through the wonderful world of Ozo Blockly. What is Ozo Blockly, you might ask? Ozo Blockly is a visual programming language that we use to program both Ozobot Bit and Evo. Now today we'll be doing a bot camp of sorts to give you all the tools that you need to create all sorts of programs for your Ozobot. So what I need from you is to go on over to ozoblockly.com. That's O-Z-O-B-L-O-C-K-L-Y dot com. We'll give you a second to go on over there. All right. We'll just click on Get Started. That'll open up the Ozoblockly editor. Now at the top left-hand section here, you have a selection for both Bit and Evo. Make sure you're selecting the correct one for whichever bot you're using. Today, since I'm using Evo, I'll select Evo. Although for this, if you're using Bit, that'll work as well. Just below that, we have different skill levels. Here we have a pre-reader section with picture-based blocks so that even if you don't know how to read, you can start learning programming. And that goes all the way up to skill level five, the master blocks that give you much more precision over how your Bit or Evo reacts. And it really helps you put the pro in a programmer. For you newbies today, we're going to be starting off at level 2. Now, uh, if you... Oh, um... Uh, you weren't supposed to see that. Um, if you ever want to delete your blocks, which you should do before any programming session or uh, making a tutorial, you should uh, click on this little trash can here and select delete all blocks. Or you can right click on the back and delete all the blocks that are in the program here. Now here when you want to add blocks you can just open up the category of the block that you want to add and click and drag it over to the editor or workspace. And the blocks will just snap together just like that when you bring them close together. If you want to take a block and put it between others you just fit it right in and it'll snap together again. If you want to rearrange blocks, you can just take them out of the block and put them in. You can grab multiple blocks at once as well, just like that. If you want to delete a block, you can just right click on it and select delete block there for a singular deletion. Now don't worry about making a program quite as complicated as this one just yet. We wouldn't want you to get too tired before we really get into the swing of things. So up at the right hand side here, we have a bunch of helpful resources for you. We have a section where you can log in and save any programs that you want to save. We have a help and troubleshooting guide here for any help you might need. We also have a reference guide. So you can click on any of these blocks here and it'll tell you exactly what each individual block does for more information. For today, we'll be focusing on examples. So these examples are programs that you can open up that we've made already to see how can program Bit and Evo to do, to do different things. Each different skill level is going to have different examples for different difficulties here. For today, we'll be focusing on square walk. So I'll open up this example and that'll clear out all the blocks that we have here in the workspace. And just like that, we have the program we want to load. So you may be wondering how we actually get the program onto Bit or Evo. Well, here I'll show you. We have the flashing button right here. We'll open that up. It'll open up the calibration and flash loading screen. All right, I'm going to take my Ozobot here, hold it flush up against the screen, hold the power button down for two or three seconds until the light changes to white, release the power button. And just like that, it flashes green, telling us it was successful. If it flashes red, we'll have to do it again. I'll go and mark calibration as complete. Make sure my Ozobot is still on. And I'll hold it flush up against the loading area here. And I'll select Load Evo. It's going to flash green the whole time, telling us that it's successfully taking all of the code. If it stops or if it flashes red, we'll have to go ahead and try again. All right. And now that we have our square walk program successfully flash loaded onto our Ozobot, it's ready to run. However, there's one more way that you can load your programs onto your Evo if you're using that. All you need to do is go on over to the User tab here. Log in with the same account you use in the Evo app and select one of these slots here. Save your program. 
And just like that, it's saved to our app. Now just go on over here using the play tab in the bottom corner, select Ozo Blockly, and all of our programs that we have saved are going to populate on the screen. Just pick the one that you want to run and you're good to go. Now, it's time for the moment of truth. We got Evo here. I'm going to double press its power button, one, two, set it down, and just like that, he's running in a square, changing the lights just like it was programmed to do. All right, now we have all the tools that we need to successfully navigate Ozo Blockly and load our programs onto our Ozobot. Now my challenge to you is to hack this program so that instead of walking in a perfect square, it walks in a rectangle with longer sides. While you do that, I'm going to make mine go in a star-stellated dodecahedron. I'll see you later.